in the beautiful perfect Garden of Eden, about where nowadays Egypt is. It was once a tropical paradise. The temperatures were perfect. All the flowers were beautiful. Josephus, who was a very ancient writer, spoke of it as if all the animals and humans spoke one language. This would fit well with the Bible, when it said that of all the beasts of the field, there was one more sly and subtle than any of them. This was a serpent. Not like the snakes we know of today. He wasn't innocent looking, and he walked around like a dragon on legs. He had heard about the command that God gave the first man and woman that he had created. The serpent had heard God's command to Adam and Eve when he created them. God told Adam and Eve that of all the trees of the garden, they could eat of them all they wanted to, but of one tree, they were not to eat of it, because if they did, they would die. The serpent stopped Eve one day as she was passing by and said, Yea, have God said ye shall not eat of the fruit of the garden? Eve clarified that God said they shouldn't touch or eat the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, or they would surely die. The serpent must have laughed and shook his head. You will not surely die. He explained that God just knows that if you eat it, you will become like gods, because you'll know good and evil, and your eyes will be open. Eve saw that the fruit was good to look at. It was so tempting. It looked so luscious, so ripe and ready, so pleasant to the eyes, it would make her wise if she ate it. She must have thought God wasn't telling them the truth after all, and that maybe the serpent was right. Adam was with her in the garden, but we don't know if he heard the serpent talking to Eve. But one thing is sure, he knew his wife was eating of that tree because she offered him the fruit as well. She talked him into it. Adam took of the fruit and ate it, but something terrible happened. Evil was all around them in the world. They were no longer good because they went against God. And for the first time, they noticed they didn't have any clothes on at all. They hurried to sew fig leaves together to make aprons for themselves. They knew they needed to be clothed. And in the cool of the day, God came down to walk in the Garden of Eden with Adam as he had done before. But Adam and Eve got scared. They went and hid from God because they knew that they had made a big mistake. God called to Adam and said, Where are you? He knew where Adam was, but I think that he wanted Adam to consider where he was and why. Adam admitted that he had heard God walking and he had heard God's voice in the garden and was afraid, and they hid from him because they saw they were naked. God asked them, Who told you you were naked? Did you eat of the tree that I told you you shouldn't eat? The blame game began. Adam pointed to Eve. He was like, Oh, the woman you gave to be with me, she gave it to me and I ate. Then God looked at the woman and the woman hurried to blame the snake. He deceived me. Imagine the heart of God. How sad that this decision meant Adam and Eve and all their children after them would be doomed to die. They were now sinners. They were stuck in a world of doom and destruction. This meant all the animals would no longer be peaceful, that they would eat other animals, and that all the plants would die off, that things would spiral into chaos and be diseased and destroyed, all because of this decision. He told Eve that she would be cursed, that she would bring forth children in great sorrow, and that her desires would be to be like her husband. And he told Adam that the ground that he would till and that he would sow would grow up with thorns and briars. He would work by the sweat of his face, that he would get overheated and hot. God showed them that an apron wasn't good enough. He made them coats of fur and clothed them. This meant an animal had to die to put clothes upon Adam and Eve, and that blood had to be shed. God told the woman that she would have a son that would one day destroy the serpent completely. He was speaking of Jesus, who would come to pay the penalty for sin and offer eternal life. This is how sin entered the world, boys and girls, and the curse fell upon everything that lived upon the earth, all because Adam and Eve 
disobeyed God. We all are stuck without God. The good news is, Jesus God's Son was sent to earth to pay the penalty of our sin, so that we can live forever in a perfect state with Him in a beautiful, perfect new world one day. God loved us so much that He provided a way out if we trust Him, ask Him into our hearts to save us, and believe He is God and He is the only one that can deliver us from sin and death. This is the sad story of Adam and Eve. Just like God cannot let us be in His presence and be in sin, He could not allow Adam and Eve into the Garden of Eden anymore. The Tree of Life was still there that granted everlasting life, and He did not want them to eat it and live forever in a sinful state. So He sent an angel with a flaming sword to guard the Garden of Eden, and cherubim drove out Adam and Eve to leave. Separation from God was the worst thing that ever happened to mankind. It was a sad day when they had to leave. A day that humanity today still wishes we had to live over.